Hey YouTube, PD2 Finger here with an unusual video. I'm going to do two barbecue videos today. One is a quick tip, and the other one is a review of the Master Built Smoker. So here is what I use to light the charcoal. You fill the bottom of this up with paper. There's a grate about this here. And then you put the charcoal in here and then put paper under there. Or you can set this on two bricks and use a cube of wax, break off a candle, and get that wax ignited. And that's uh, less smoke than using the paper. And th this will get your coals lit very well. You don't have to buy uh, this charcoal lighter. So this is highly recommended. For about two or three bottles of this, you can buy this, and it lasts you probably 10, 15 years before it rusts out. So the other tip is to use a fan. This is a fan that came off an IKEA contraption, which was a stand that had a bunch of fans on it. And these were popular in the, like around Y2K. Any kind of small fan that you got, this one is nice because it has a metal uh, grill around it, and then I just extended, I cut the, cable off of a vacuum. Oftentimes when you see a vacuum in the garbage, you can cut that cable and it'll be a long cable. So I have a foot switch here that enables me to turn this fan on and off. And that enables me to speed the process of like from when you first light the coals and they're, they're gray uh, running this and slowly moving it around in a circle to get the coals all the way grayed over. It will speed that process by about 90%. It'll really get it cooking there, good, because that's what the fire needs is oxygen. So it's a it's a tool that I use in conjunction with the smoker because when I had read reviews of this smoker, people were saying that they were drilling they were drilling out the bottom of it to get more airflow. And so what I've been doing is just keeping this fan here, and I will. When the temperature goes down, there's a temperature gauge on this smoker. When the temperature goes down, I can fire up that fan and let that fan run for a few minutes and then shut it back off and it'll bring it back up to temperature. So any kind of fan, even using a piece of cardboard as a fan, is going to really work well for you to speed the process of your coals. So that's often a problem with barbecuing when you first start doing it is keeping the coals at a proper temperature. And I found applying I found applying oxygen to be uh, more efficient than wasting a bunch of charcoal lighter. So there's your barbecue tip. If you got one for me, let me know. I like to indirect grill or smoke in this case. We're doing five pounds of uh, spare ribs, pork spare ribs, that we dry rub. And typically if you cook those slow, cook them slow and low, they just stir incredible. They're really good. You don't even really need the sauce. So, thanks for joining me. Let me know your barbecue secret tricks and tips below, and I'll appreciate that.